Well, in my constant pursuit to find a uh, quick uh, method to um, remove the mold process, molding process imperfections of these figures before I paint them. Uh, so, the latest one, which I have to say, seems the most promising after all these decades of doing this, um, seems to be uh, shoving this nylon rotary brush thing into that rotary device. And um, I'll show you. Hopefully, as long as I don't knock anything. Uh, so I'm looking through a camera screen and a magnifying lamp. Uh, the phone is placed on the camera. The phone camera is sort of placed on the um, lens of the magnifying lamp. I daren't show you or move it. But anyway, uh, let me just see if I can demonstrate. Well, I've done his uh, left arm, more or less. If you can see, well, it's a very gentle thing as well. As long as you hold the figure firmly, it doesn't really matter where you go, as long as you don't linger. And um, this isn't very... Uh, let me see if I can get a bit closer to show you. I'll try for that uh, left shoulder. Still a bit of a mould mark. See if it all... Um, keep going away too far. See if it'll round that off. Hopefully. I can't focus myself. There's a focal point somewhere around there. Something keep I keep moving around it. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's quite tricky to sort of see what I'm actually doing, believe it or not. Let me try and get rid of that shoulder ridge. Uh, I'm not holding the tool firmly enough. There we go. It doesn't matter if you lose uh, his uh, straps. You can always just paint those on afterwards. Let's see if I can get it rounded. Uh, one second. Have I lost his face? Oh, God, I hope not. I hope I haven't done it, but... Um, it's much easier without a phone on the lens, so I can actually focus properly. Where is it? Uh, but, uh, no, you can just get rid of everything, and you can... doesn't matter if it hits your fingers, doesn't hurt. Uh, it's just a ridge on this arm and the shoulder. Which I want to round off. Uh, hang on a minute. Ah, that's possibly. Ooh. Ah, one. Let me uh, do a bit more there. But, um. Suddenly gets rid of the excess and uh, uh, that ridge has sort of moved in towards <coughs> the body the ridge on the left arm and I can't really focus very well at the moment on this so that's probably why it's sort of I think it's getting there. Probably not doing it hard enough. 
There's that. But, um, yes, I think I'll be doing this for a while. Uh, as long as the brush doesn't uh, get deteriorate too much. Uh, there's that. And you can get in to the side of his head. Do the, see, it doesn't damage the musket at all. Probably uh, very resilient, these things, these figures. But anyway, you hopefully you get the idea. I'm not really doing a very good job because I can't focus too well on it at the moment. Still, uh, I think I've got the thing on the lower setting, so uh, I don't want to melt anything. Oh, I could see fibres or something flying off. It's probably the brush itself that's losing. So, this is possibly the best method I've found yet. Just do a bit of the back of the legs. So, you do need to hold the figure firmly. That's the trouble because they bend and vibrate. Well, this, oh. Must have a loose connection or something. Uh, anyway, uh, oh God. I need to hold it closer. I can't focus on it myself, that's the problem. The camera screen, anyway. Very satisfying, this. Effortless. So, um,. It doesn't really matter if you uh, go all over the place. It just polishes as well if it's not direct uh, contact with the edge. Anyway, right, that's enough of that. Brush doesn't look too bad. And um, some look at figure, see if that's done anything at all. Well, it has, definitely. Uh, as always happens, that you get a reach or four around the figure. And uh, as you're reducing those ridges, they, um, they sort of move. And you have to chase them around. But... Uh, it just takes hours and hours by hand. So hopefully this is, um, oh, anyway, sorry. Oh, look. See how it polishes the plastic. And the ridge marks here have sort of disappeared down this edge, all the way around the perimeter of this figure in its musket. Uh, sorry, I can't uh, stop fiddling with it. Uh, sort of way to go, but oh, there's the back leg. You can see it sort of pushes the uh, uh, original ridge deformation at the mould mark, uh, mould egg, mould uh, halves, whatever they call them. Two mould parts, three mould parts, sometimes four maybe. God no, I have no idea. So anyway. Uh, Yes, this is the method I'm going to use, just to speed this up a bit, hopefully. As long as the technology doesn't um, fail. I need to twist his head so he's looking... Um, eyes left. Yeah. character is a bit different to the other figures. Right. Uh, yes. Not bad. 